Hey there, this is Samuel from St. High and today I'm talking about Amen Pure Mode Perfume Oil Type. Uh, you see right here, let me see, let me show you. Okay. So you can see um, the perfume oil itself is a very thick uh, perfume oil, much like in the likes of Egyptian masks, which I did a review of, and also Arabian sandalwood. You know, and there is some um, similarities you know but i'll get into that in a minute so amen pure mod was the perfume itself was released in 2009 and it was supposed to honor a scottish whiskey um so it was supposed to have like a boozy kind of uh, vibe or boozy kind of feel to it um when i first smelled it my first impression was that this perfume oil <laughs> reminded me so much of dark amber Dark Amber is very crispy, it reminds me so much of guava, uh, very sour and also uh, it was like a mix, a, mix, a mixture between Dark Amber and um, Arabian, like, Arabian Sandalwood Perfume Oil or Egyptian Max Perfume Oil. It was like a mixture of both, you know, if you mix both of them. And so I was kind of a little bit disappointed, but disappointed. <laughs> I was a little bit disappointed because I expected it to have like a multi, a multi kind of feel or a multi kind of smell to it. Um, I didn't get that at all. I didn't get that at all. And I remember um, with malt because I have a story with malt. I remember when I was in Ghana, my dad used to drink malt. You know the Guinness, uh, Malta Guinness. You know, and if you have tried it or if you haven't tried it, um, you know because I remember I, when my dad, you know, because he used to come over here and then he would visit when he comes to Ghana, we'll hang out, you know, and spend time together and he would drink this Malta Guinness when he can, you know, and so I was always curious, you know, as a, as a child, as a young um, guy, you want to know how it feels like or how it smells like, you know, so one time during lunchtime, I think I asked him and I asked him, I was like, I want to try it, you know, so he poured a glass of it into a cup and I took a big, <laughs> my greedy ass, I took a big gulp of it, you know, and I remember I was like, man, at that moment I felt like puking, like, it wasn't nasty, but it was so bitter, you know, it was so bitter and it has the malt feel, you know, if you have seen malt or if you have been around the, you know, seen malt itself, the plant malt, um, there is this feel to malt, you know, and Malta Guinness has that feel, but also it's so bitter, you know, it's bitter, you know, if you're used to drinking, um, they have the Malta drink, which is more, more sweeter and it's, it's, it's thicker, the Malta drink itself is sweeter and it's thicker, you know, but it's, it's more, it's more, um, it tastes better in your mouth, you know, and so you could tell like the difference and why I repulsed it, you know, so back to the amen pure mode i was expecting um something like in the lines of um sweet in the um the lines of multi you know but it wasn't it didn't smell multi to me at all at all um like i said what i got for me was that um it was a perfect blend to me between dark amber and um either egyptian max or arabian sandalwood you know it's very thick um it's very natural it's very musky and very woody um so the notes um actually there were no particular notes for this um perfume oil but what i picked up from for me was that it was very um spicy like sweet spicy it was also very musky um it was also very woody and uh it was fruity in the you know most people said it, it was fruity in the beginning which i barely got you know but overall it's a very um very nice perfume oil you know so if i was to summarize it i would say it's, it was it's a perfect blend um between sweet and sour and also musk now uh, in terms of when it's a good time to wear it i would i would say the best time to wear it would be in um during the fall and also during the spring you know because it in terms of how much you could smell it it wasn't very beastly you know it was it was good enough you know maybe um 
five, six out of ten tests of the projection. Um, so it wouldn't be something that people smell ten feet away or several feet away, maybe three or four feet away, um, depending on how my how your body reacts to it. That's um, how much it will project. Um, I said spring and fall because during winter time, I think it will just crash. It will just like freezing in cocoon. I uh, meaning it wouldn't be able to shine as much as it needs to during the winter time because of um, of the cold. And then also um, during the summer time, I think it will be uh, like a one night wonder, meaning it will be very great and uh, the opening will be great, but it wouldn't last uh, very, very long you know, because of the, the heat. I think it will, it will be brief in terms of um, its power or its potency. So spring and fall time to me will be the best time to wear it. And even now, as you can see, it's, it's fall now, it's, um, the weather is changing. Um, it's cool and very nice now, you know. So this is a perfect time um, to wear it in, in general. Um, for uniqueness, is it unique? I can't really say. I can't really say if this is unique or not because. Um, and so I said for uniqueness, I said both ways. I said yes and no because yes because uh, if you mix um, like the amber masky notes with um, the how do you call it? Um, if you, if you mix the dark amber that I was talking about with the Gishamas or the Arabian sandalwood, in my opinion, I'm not saying those are the, but that's how it comes across. Um, to me, you get something unique, something um, definitely um, special, you know, one of its kind. So it's nothing in my collection and therefore it's unique. Um, I would say no, it's not unique too because the backbones of how this perfume is constructed, I mean, I think it's, you know, based on how it projects, um, it's not entirely unique because I know I could tell um, the backbone because um, it's not very beastly on projection it doesn't also last very long you know so you get a good two and a half hours you know if you are lucky maybe three hours based on how your skin actually um, reacts to how how much um, you know based on your, your your natural chemistry you know so you wouldn't get a lot of longevity a lot of it wouldn't last very long um, uh, for you, you know. And even the perfume itself, uh, most people uh, by popular vote haven't gotten like a long. It didn't last very long on them, you know. And that's one of the things that maybe my <laughs> it wasn't great out of the perfume. But besides that, um, I might have picked out a few boozy notes, like very faint, you know. So it's not overwhelming at all. You can't mean you have to be. You 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 might miss it, you know, but it's like hints of boozy notes. But overall theme is the mask, um, sweet, sour, woodsy, musky, and uh, I mean very natural, you know. So it's very natural. It's something that if you are fan of natural perfume oils, if you like the Egyptian mask, um, if you like the Arabian sandalwood, uh, if you like the the dark amber um, perfume oils, this is something that you definitely like. You know, it's very natural it wouldn't give you a headache it's not very synthetic um it's something that you really love you know so make sure um leave your comments below let me know what you think about this perfume oil if you've tried it um definitely recommend that you try it um, head on to sendhack.com and grab a bottle or bottles i'll personally ship them to you uh, follow me on social media or on instagram twitter facebook um google plus and other social media network for new updates and make sure you subscribe below the subscription button is right below here and that's the only way you get my new videos when they do come out and take care uh, leave your comments below <laughs> and um, talk to you soon bye